If you've ever created a class in Webflow and it's not doing what you expect it to do, this video will explain why. Let's say we create a class called UcolorBlue that sets a blue font color, and then create another class called UcolorRed that sets a red font color. Well, when we combine two classes with conflicting values, we'd expect that if we add UcolorRed, the text changes to red, and then if we add UcolorBlue, we would expect the text to change to blue, but it actually just stays red. And that's because the order these two classes are stacked doesn't matter. It's the order they were created in that counts. Ucolor Blue was created before Ucolor Red. So Ucolor Red will always override the classes that came before it. This is why creating a custom class overrides a utility. So if we have a custom class like Hero Title that we create after the utilities are created, then once we add our own utility like Ucolor Red, we can actually override that utility with the custom class. If we change it to a different color here, like blue, it's going to override the utility because it was created after that utility. So this becomes important when we have one class that sets multiple values. This H2 class sets a family, weight, size, line height, letter spacing, and text transform, but we could still add a text transform or weight utility to override the H2's default style. So if we add this weight bold, it's going to override the H2's weight because this weight bold was created after the H2 class. So it doesn't matter the order we stack these classes in, we could start with weight bold and then add H2 on top, and it's still going to override the H2 weight. Now, where this could become an issue is if we create a new utility in the future. If we duplicate this H2 and create a new style, like display large, what we'll notice if we add a U8 bold, it's not actually overriding the font weight of this display large. And that's because the display large was created after the weight bold class. It's our newest class in Webflow. So to fix that, we can head over to the FinSuite Chrome extension and go to CSS style reorder. And we were going to want to search for that U uh, display large, which should be all the way at the bottom since it's the latest class we created. And I'll hit Command F and search for U dash text. That way I can just find all the other text classes. We're not worried if it's stacked on top of another classes because this doesn't have any styles. We're just searching for the base classes here. And so we're going to actually move this up and I can just move to the side till I find it's moving a bit faster. And all our utilities should be at the very top. They should be above any custom classes we create. But even once we get to the utilities, we're going to want this display large to be above any of the weight utilities, any of the text transform utilities. So I'm going to put it all the way at the very top. And I'm wanting to keep it kind of grouped by the other UText classes. So by this display and these other ones. So you'll notice classes that set a lot of styles, like a grid class that might set a gap and it might set alignments and different things. These are going to be at the top, any utilities that apply multiple styles. And things that just set one-off styles, like maybe it overrides the gap on our default grid, those are going to be further down. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll run it. And what we should notice is now it's actually going to, uh, the weight classes will actually be able to override our display's weight. So if we select this display and we add a U weight bold, it's now working perfectly fine. So any class that sets multiple styles should always be above classes that set just one-off styles. So if we have this U visual wrap that sets an overflow hidden, an aspect ratio position relative, we might want to override any of these individual things, like maybe set overflow to visible if we're creating a certain interaction. So if we have one-off classes like an overflow visible, we want that to be able to override classes that set multiple styles. And that actually works here because this overflow visible is created it after the visual wrap. So that's just something to keep in mind with any new utilities you add when you're setting up the order of things. Always keep uh, utilities that apply multiple styles higher up and utilities that apply a single style further down.